so i'll be talking about uh, this small topic abdominal compartment syndrome so this can be definitely be asked in an exam so it's just good to know the salient points about this syndrome so we'll talk about intraabdominal hypertension so if you look at the waveform of intraabdominal hypertension as you see this is end expiration so during end inspiration your intraabdominal pressure goes up and uh, so and then during expiration it can comes down and end inspiration it goes up so that is the basic uh, waveform of how intraabdominal pressure looks so normally the intraabdominal pressure is around 5 mm mercury so intraabdominal hypertension is defined as when there is sustained so the word sustained is important so when we cough or when we have any acute illness the intraabdominal pressure may go up. but when there is a sustained increase in the intraabdominal pressure more than 12 so 12 is the limit 12 mm mercury you would call it as intraabdominal hypertension and what this intraabdominal hypertension does is it causes changes in the microcirculation so it, ch it causes changes in the circulation of the bowels and in the microcirculation as well so these are the grades of intraabdominal hypertension grade 1 is 12 to 15 grade 2 is 16 to 20 grade 3 is 21 to 25 and grade 4 is more than 25 so the definition of abdominal compartment syndrome so intraabdominal hypertension is not equal to abdominal compartment syndrome so when you have to say someone is an abdominal compartment they should have sustained increase in intraabdominal pressure more than 20 mm mercury along with new onset single organ failure or multi organ failure or in other words if they start developing hypotension or if the peak airway pressure goes up and uh, there is respiratory deterioration or neurological deterioration any of the organ failure that sits in you would call it as abdominal compartment syndrome and as i have to reiterate intraabdominal hypertension is not same as abdominal compartment syndrome and we need to understand there are different stages of the same pathological process so it goes through different stages so sustained increase in intraabdominal pressure starts affecting multiple organs so it is a dynamic sort of a process that happens so does it have any bearing on outcome mortality so when patient has grade 3 intraabdominal hypertension and abdominal compartment syndrome there can be 3 to 5 fold increase in the risk of mortality so it does have a bearing if someone has intraabdominal hypertension or abdominal compartment it has a direct bearing on morbidity and mortality so it does increase the risk of mortality 3 to 5 times so we should be worried about this and along with this it what your abdominal compartment syndrome does is it causes activation of 